It's me, Mikey Pipes and Peter. Today is Thursday, July 21st, 2022. We're at this service call. This Lux Air outdoor AC condenser service is the first floor of this, I don't know, fairly large house. They got a two zone ductless or three zone ductless. Let's see, for the basement, two or three. Nope, three zone. This one services the first floor. This one services the second floor. Excuse the noise in the background. Okay, customer's complaint. First floor is not cooling. We got out here, we verified that the contactor, right, is in fact getting 24 volts pulling in. What we found was there's no power at the disconnect. We went to the circuit breaker panel. We found that the breaker for the outdoor condensing unit was in the tripped position. We turned it off. We tried to turn it back on and it instantly tripped. So that means we have something shorting to ground or the compressor or fan is locked. And when it tries to start, it's drawing so much amperage right away that it's tripping the breaker. So what we're gonna do first to test is I'm gonna take this disconnect out, right? First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the disconnect out and now we're gonna check for shorts to ground. And let me show you how we Our do multimeter that. right there. And to confirm, we touch the two terminals, our leads together, we hear the noise. Now, we have a ground bar right here. We have one line of power there and we have a short to ground. You hear that? So now let's try the other line, which is this one. And we also have a short to ground, right? So between these two, we have shorts to ground. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna head on over to the electrical compartment. And you notice that the, the cover's already off, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna disconnect our wiring from this, from this contactor, right? We wanna disconnect the reds that are up here. Right, or on one side, we're gonna call that T, T, uh, T1, the blacks on the other. We need a Philip bit, let me get that long, uh, for the compressor wiring. I wanna take that off, right? And get rid of that. Now, we are gonna be able to test just the contact. So let's go back to the disconnect. Okay, you hear that? We have one wire there, one lead there. We have nothing there. We have nothing there, all right? Now, we have this red wire here. Let's find our ground bar. We have a short to ground, direct short to ground. See that? Let's do the black wire to there. Still have that. We have a short on our compressor. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the top of this unit and let, we're gonna take a we're gonna dig a dig deep and take a look at this compressor. Right? I'm gonna take out all of these screws here. It's gonna be easier for me to get inside this bad boy. We're gonna remove the entire condensing unit top. The in, top and its entire one. We are gonna need a short 516 to get to the other side because of the proximity of the unit to the house structure. I'm not gonna be able to get this in there. All right, we have a couple screws there. Right there. Okay, we're not gonna lose the screws. I'm gonna give you those screws. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna give you this, Malco. That's the uh, six inch, five sixteenths and quarter inch. Now we're gonna get in there with this. Boom, boom, okay. Oh, one more. Boom, okay. I'm gonna give Peter the drill right up there. Let's lift up the top here. We have some wires here, so let's disconnect some of these wires. Or, better yet, let's just flip this over like that. You hold that right there, Peter. I'm gonna take a look inside. We're gonna remove the blanket, the insulating blanket, off the compressor, okay? This is a Copeland scroll compressor, right? And now we're gonna check 
to short the ground on these terminals, all right? Because we could have a, a problem with the wiring harness. So Peter's gonna get me the multimeter. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put this on the floor right there. And I am gonna take my leads, again confirming that we have continuity when I touch the two together. And we're gonna find a piece of ground. All right, I'm just gonna cut it, kind of cut into that copper right there. And we have a short to ground right there. Let's shut all of them. All the terminals are shorted to ground. All of them. We have a dead compressor, ladies and gentlemen. No bueno. Let me show you exactly what I was touching in there. There are those terminals, one by one. One lead to a terminal and one lead to ground. And this, in this particular case, I just used the copper. I scratched it in right there. We have a dead compressor. Let's go give them the, the good news. All right, I gave the customers two options. Option number one, compressor only with Virgin R410A, filter dryer, all that good stuff. And make them aware that, hey, compressors die for a reason. There may be a restriction in the system. It could have been a dirty filter, but once we replace the compressor, once we install and start up the system, then we're gonna look to see if there's a cause for the compressor failure. So you have to make them aware of that. So option number one was a compressor proposal. Option number two was a replacement of the entire condensing unit, which includes the filter dryer, refrigerant, all that good stuff. And then still with the same disclosure, you may still have a problem. You could have a restriction, you could have a bad TXV, uh, the capper rate tube, something that the metering device could cause it, be causing a restriction, um, or it could just be normal wear and tear on the compressor, which really doesn't happen, but you never know. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Just wanted to post a quick little video. Service call, no AC, breakers tripped, you check for grounds, check for shorts to grounds, and you saw how I verified the compressor was shorted to ground. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one. Until then, be well. God bless. Stay safe.